Hi folks, welcome to my channel. Myself Chinma Marathi. I work in Juniper Networks. In today's video, we are going to talk about Mist Access Assurance, which is the latest offering from Juniper Networks. We will see how we can integrate Mist AP with Mist Access Assurance, and later we will configure it for FTLS authentication, and we will see all the logs for wireless as well as for assurance at the same place. I have logged in into my uh, Mist dashboard, and here the beauty of Juniper Mist comes in. From the same dashboard, you can do configuration, management, as well as troubleshooting for your wireless, wired, SD, and uh, AAA, right? Which we say in access assurance. Now I am going to my organization. I currently have one AP running, which is online. We are going to configure some WLANs for testing. So under organization WLAN, I already have one WLAN template created. Under that WLAN, I have created one SSID for cloud integration with access assurance. So SID name is CloudNAC. It's a WPA2 enterprise based authentication I'm using. And the important point here is this authentication servers. So under authentic authentication servers, when you want to integrate with missed access assurance, you just have to click missed auth and save the SID. That's it. In background, what AP does is AP will create a RedSec tunnel. RedSec is nothing but radius over TCP and TLS because we are running AAA on cloud. So it will create a RedSec, uh, which is completely encrypted between the AP and then access assurance. Moving to the access assurance side, if you see uh, on the dashboard, we have new column where uh, we can see access. So here is the access assurance where you have to configure all the policies, you have to upload the certificates, download the certificates, you have to integrate with any IDPs like Azure, Okta, you can do from the, the same tab. Now, directly going to the certificates, you see here, there are three tabs. One is certificate authority, view miss certificate, and the last one is the custom radius certificate. So here, the thing is for FTLS, we have to import a root CA who has signed the client certificates also. And once we import that root CA certificate, the missed access assurance will trust all the client certificates which are signed by the same root CA. So what I have done is I'm running one CA server on Windows 2016 server on a demo license. So you can also run one. So I'm downloading this root CA certificate. The important point here is the same root CA has signed the client certificate. So I have a client certificate signed by the same CA. So I'm opening the content of this root certificate. To copy this, we have to go back to the dashboard. You can see the name. Wi-Fi wiki hyphen miss server dot hyphen ca. When miss access assurance will present its own certificate to the client, the client should also trust the certificate presented by missed, right? So we can do one thing. This is a missed root CA. Now it's a signed certificate. So we have to import this certificate into the trusted root authority on the clients. It can be Android, it can be Windows, MacBook, anything. What I did is I have copied this content in one of the file. You can see missed root CA. We'll import this MS root CA on the client machine. So I am going to test TLS on the same machine. So let me, you have to write use, you have to go to manage user certificates on Windows. Then under root CA, state root CA, we have to go to all task import. We are doing it for user authentication. So current user, you have to browse the root CA certificate. Next, it will be stored here, finish. So we have imported the missed root CA certificate. Now, before we do a test, Let's do one thing. Let's create the policies. I will show you how easy it is to create policies in MIST. We are going to test over wireless, wireless, and you are done. Just save it. There are some complex policies which you can create, and we are going to see all those things in the coming video series. So now, for now, we are done. So let me configure client machine so that it can connect to the SSID which I have created. Cloud, Mac. You have to select an authentication WP2 enterprise next. Now what I am doing here is I am configuring the Windows native wireless applicant, which can perform multiple type of authentication. So I am configuring it for TLS authentication because by default it, it does if pip. So I have selected certificate here, then go to settings. Now in settings, what you have to do is uh, you have to trust the root CAs. So the, the first one is the miss root CA. And the last one is this uh, the CA which which has signed the client certificates and the same root CA I have imported in the miss dashboard also. Now again the same thing under con configure certificate selection and if you have any intermediate CA you have to trust them as well. In advanced settings what we will do is 
as we have configured the missed root ca certificate for user authentication so we have to select user authentication okay okay let me close all the windows then connecting it to the ssid cloud nat it's connecting and the good part here is you don't have to go to different tab or something there is no cross launch or something like that it's the same dashboard to manage your client to cloud infrastructure so we'll see all the logs from the wireless side as well as from the nac side so you can see it's connected now let's see the wi-fi clients yeah it came let's click it so this is my domain which i have used wi-fi wiki dot on microsoft dot com because we are going to leverage the same client in coming video series when we integrate missed access assurance with microsoft azure or if tls and if ttls so if we want to see if the user exists or this domain exists in azure we can do a lot of good things we will will explore that one so go to client insights refresh it so you can see the net client certificate validation success means the miss cloud has validated the client certificate and iptls is successful because we can see the if type is iptls and it is saying a success and the username which i am using is this and you are able to see this log right net idp look of failure i will talk about this later now if you see net client access allowed and the important po uh, point here is that it is iptls right and the certificate issuer is my my root ca which i am running on windows 2016 server here is the here is the crux right it is saying that which policy has been hit by the client to so click on it so this is the policy which we have created uh, and it is a ftls authentication and it, it is a wireless client right so going back to the client insights now you you might be having question why this coming neck idp group look of failure the thing is i have already configured an idp which i will show you in the next videos so it is trying to see if that domain exists so this user is exist in idp or not right but as this is not so it is saying that net idp group look up failure we are not doing that if tls along with the idp look up then give a success right we are not doing something like that so even though it is got failure it passed means the user got connected and you can see the wireless logs like client is we associated because uh, previously i was connected to same ssid and then you can see the gateway app success dns success ds success and boom all, all things are there so this is this this is how simple it is to to configure a miss access assurance for iptls configuration so in next video we'll talk about the custom radius certificate based authentication also so hope you like the video thank you